and you'll get a press it. release, yeah. and then all of a sudden it'll just be in the paper. Just go to, go yeah. to sleep. Yeah. Everything is fine. Just nod your yeah. head. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Mr. Connick. Yeah, we understand. Well, good morning. Welcome to Talking Racine. You guys owe us big time. We just spent two and a half hours going through the proposed city budget here. That includes Mr. George Myers, Mr. Jim Spotick, and myself, Dr. Ken Jorgen. We are the, we're the budget warriors here. For the, <laughs> I'll tell you folks, uh, you need to take a close look at this and, and try and follow this stuff that we've been delving through for the last couple yeah, of hours. To, to make, and to make it a little more interesting, I'd, I'd like to say it's more than we're talking about than just the budget. We're talking about the taxes you're paying. Right. Because that's what this is all about, really. And, Otherwise, and, and not who just cares taxes, about the budget? But, but how that tax is changing, how it's impacting you, how the impact yeah, upon exactly. you is changing. If you've been having trouble paying your taxes, you know, if it keeps, seems like they're going up and out of out of control, well, this is this is what the control document is. But if you read this the way it's presented, you feel like, oh, things are getting better. It can be presented that way. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. If you, right. you look at it, that's, but, which is what we're going to be talking a little bit about. But you're feeling a tighter pinch on your wallet. You, yeah, you're, funniest you're, thing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, it got better, but you're feeling worse. Yeah, we, we could pay taxes yeah. a lot easier yeah. 40, 50 years ago in right. this town, mm -hmm. uh, even, even 30 years ago. But it seems to get harder and harder and harder. And why is that when you see in here that, according to Jim Palahniuk, the city administrator, it's getting better. Yeah. <laughs> well, why is it getting harder to pay? And we, I think we may have just yeah, shown. We, we, yeah, we, we, yeah couple, we've uncovered a yeah, couple of things yeah, here. Uh, with some numbers, you know, and, and taking a look at the numbers, and that's where it gets difficult because we're not doing a whiteboard on this. Which well, yeah, well, the should, basic but. thing is here, it says total proposed property tax levy for 2019, $54,322,250. And you're putting this up on the screen. It's right? going to be on yeah. the screen so we can kind of relate to it as we talk. Yeah. And the budgeted levy for 2018, virtually identical. So Now, the tax no levy, change. now what that means is... That is the property tax levy. That is the part of the budget that you pay for out of your property taxes. Now there's more, we'll get into it, there's more being spent than that. That comes from other pockets. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It comes out of your left pocket. That the 54 million, if you can keep that in mind, 54 million that you saw on the screen, is what is that good. is the property tax levy. And that stayed at zero, down to the dollar. Yeah, down to the last two hundred. So you got, a, you got, you got a checking account, you got a credit card, and you got money in your pocket, and they're getting part of all of that. Right. But here's the thing: that that fifty-four million is what they've collected on property taxes throughout the year. Right. Correct. That would be for two thousand nineteen. For two thousand eighteen, it was the, that exactly amount. If right. you want, I'll give you the whole number. You don't have to remember any of this. Fifty-four million three hundred twenty-two thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, that's what was on. Right. That, now, and that exact same amount, right down to the last two hundred fifty bucks, is exactly what's proposed for two thousand and nineteen. So they're not mm -hmm. collecting any more taxes than they did in two thousand eighteen. That's right. Okay. Property taxes. Property. property but taxes. wait, now you go to the estimated tax rate per thousand dollars. Now that's the next next now, slide. Now per thousand right. dollars of valuation. So if your if your house is worth a hundred thousand dollars, you've got uh, $100,000 units, and you're going to be paying $16.07 on each one of those $1,000 units is what that means. Mm -hmm. Compared to last year, 2018, well this year, which was $16.59. So it looks like a decrease. Tax rate went down. 52 cents per But the tax stayed the same. Now, I hope this is your first clue that there's a difference between right. the levy and the tax rate. Yeah, there's a difference All right, between and reality and what you're being told. Right. It, 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 <laughs> it, 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 it. The levy is the actual amount of money taken from you, and the rate is the percentage of your house value that they're taking from you, or the, of the rate of the, yeah, the rate of your the value of your house. Right. Yeah. Now, if the tax levy stayed the same, which we just talked about, right? right Say uh -huh. that the fifty-four million stayed the same. How can the tax rate go down? 
Well, that's the they, value of your house. It should say the same, it right? Should say the same, it should say the same. The tax rate should say the same, the tax levy should say the same. No, that's not the way it works. The tax rate went down because the value of your house went up. Did you experience that? <laughs> I hope right. that's I hope that's so simple uh, explanation because there's no other way to say it. Yeah. The percentage, yeah. All right, Let's just leave it so at that. So basically, if if you if you sell your house uh, in 2019 as opposed to 2018. You should get you a little get bit more, more, more money. Right. Right. So right. the tax rate went down. But you're but still the paying the same, the same amount yeah. on that on that piece of property. Yeah, and, and, and so the city's still collecting <coughs> that taxes. So really, it doesn't affect you as far as gee, I got more money in my pocket because my tax rate went down. Not really, because yeah. you still paid the same amount of tax. And what you can sell your house for is just theoretical anyway. Right, and if yeah. you're if you're going to live in your house, you've got to live somewhere. You know, and, and here, here's where it gets disturbing politically when, once you figure this out. Because when you read in the newspaper every year for a long time, the Journal Times would print up the tax rate went down, tax right. rate went down, tax rate went down. But, uh, you, but your taxes were kept going up. And you're <laughs> right. like, what the hell's going on here? Right. That's because our, 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 our value of our houses were going up so fast. So, and, and if you look, if you live in Mount Pleasant, or um, let's see, what's the other one that was in the paper? I Caledonia. think it was Sturdivant. Sturdivant. Yeah, it wasn't Caledonia. They're, they're both talking about their tax rate. They, they voted on a, on a decrease in the tax rate. <laughs> and I'm looking at that. What does that mean? That means nothing. Yeah, yeah. right. They voted for a decrease in the tax rate, but the, you look further in the article, the taxes still went up. Right. All right, so the levy went so up. It's so it's not, so when you, when, see, when you see tax rate, just kind of park that over to the side. It really doesn't right. mean an awful lot. Right. Yeah. It's the levy that really counts. And if we could get that one point across at this point of the program, the, 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 the value uh, to you of the tax rate, it really doesn't mean very much. It's the tax levy that really is, accounts for what's the coming out of your The cheeseburgers aren't getting any cheaper is what we're <laughs> yeah. saying. All right. All right. So let's move on to. Uh, Hope we didn't lose anybody else. there, but no, that, you know, that's, I think that's, people that's, are they're definitely with us. That's so the property far. tax yeah. rate. It's big. It's a great big slide. Well, you showed the slide. All right. And that's right. what that's talking about. Page four: tax levy allocation. And I think oh. the key word there is allocation. Where's right. the money going? Yeah, it's divvy. Right. divvy how's it divvied yeah. up? That's all it means. Yep. That's all you're looking at. If you get to that, that when you look at that chart, it just tell you where it went. And this is going to be on the screen again, Terry. Yes, right? So absolutely. you got general fund, transit, civic center, debt service, library, recycling, municipal court, cemetery, and health lab. Yeah. Now, some of these things are going to go up. Some of these things are going to go down. And That's all I'm saying. Well, well, let's go to the bottom number again. Let's go back to the the, the, the page a couple pages back. Fifty-four million three hundred twenty-two. Now, if you go back to the actual property tax levy, fifty-four million. That's the same as here. It's like so, magic. Exactly. Yeah. But things have kind of moved around a little bit. Yeah. Different areas collect a little bit more. Some are taken away. But the bottom line is, they still collected fifty-four million three hundred twenty-two thousand. Yeah. That was a tax, tax levy, correct? And this is the way it was allocated. allocated. And another another interesting figure is the top of that. We said at 54 million down at the bottom of the of that column. The top one has 32 million something. Yeah. All right. Because that's coming up on the next slide. Right. So remember that 32 million. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, sorry, folks. This is the way these well, documents work. You know. Well, there's some things that are getting less money in the year, and there's there's yeah, three, there's, there's three of them. And Transit is getting 23,681 dollars less. Debt service is getting 391,723 dollars less. Uh, the cemetery are getting seven thousand one hundred fifty-one dollars less, but there are some increases. General fund five hundred thirty-four dollars, hardly worth mentioning. Civic center, a two thousand dollar increase. I mean, they're getting almost three hundred thousand dollars to run the civic center. Mm -hmm. uh, the that library be that shouldn't be costing us anything, by the way. <laughs> right, exactly. That's, that's, that's that, a whole other yeah, show. That, yeah, that's <laughs> that's festival hall and all that good right. stuff. <laughs> library is going up like a. Almost a quarter of a million, 226,000. Recycling is up by 28,793. Municipal court, $47,697 increase. Well, I'm anyway, sure that's the allocation. That's all he right. was talking about yeah. there. But that's How a 51% increase on municipal court, which is the uh, wife of the mayor. 
that's in municipal court now. Now, yeah. now, the one that got the most of the allocation, the way it was divided up, was what was called the general fund. Yeah. You, you, you mentioned all the specific yeah. funds, transit, civic center, things like that. But the, the general fund, that's, you know, police and fire and the general thing, that was gets the most, that's the $32 million, and that's in the next slide called general fund revenues. So you go to the next thing, and all, all of a sudden, the general fund tax levy appears on that on that one. Bingo. $32 million. So there it is again. But another new figure comes up on that particular thing. It's at the top. We've been talking about $32 million and $54 million. This one is $82 million. How does that wow, happen? Wow, what is that? <laughs> What's the well, $82 million? Basically, what the, it's taxes, but it's also fines and fees and etc etc bus money water yeah. money whatever right. other uh, other funds money's outside coming. of the general tax yeah that's not right. water money that's not one of them do we right. realize a profit off of parking meters or is that just oh, yeah. basically pay for uh, the maintenance I don't know about of the that. meters that one that? i don't know i, don't I, know. I think we, at one time i think it pays even. for more than meter maids yeah it does it's, it's, i, I really think do. it's mostly pretty much break even i think could be. Uh, I don't know. That'll be a, but, that'll be a little part of the have, budget off someplace. Uh, the yeah. point I want to make is when you when you talk about that eighty-two million, there's intergovernmental funds that are also allocated for that. Now that's not the intergovernmental funds, but our water agreement with the the other municipalities, that's from the state of Wisconsin. And, and, actually, and, yes. So sometimes and, and, that gets a little mixed up because we throw that word around. And it can kind of it, it, it sure had me tumbling yeah, for a while because right. I heard this intergovernmental fund and all of a sudden it had something to do with water. I thought, what the heck has that got to right. do? I thought it came from the state. So there are two intergovernmental funds, and when you hear this word governmental funds, you have to know which one it is. Now, typically on this program, we've been talking about the the uh, water 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 inter basically inter within the county. Yeah, yeah right. within the county, and right. that and that's by the. Um, uh, That's an agreement we had, right. yeah, We had an agreement with the and, other and municipalities and to sell right. water. So when uh, we're talking on a state level, that comes out of your left pocket. Right. Yeah. Right. It's still your same pair of pants. So we collect $54 million in taxes. We actually spend $82 million right. in, in, in total money. revenue yeah. each year. And this is, this is a um, kind of an important figure that's going to be coming up a little further down, down the thing. But that's the general fund revenues and there's your show where it comes from. It's only an increase uh, from 2018 to 2019 of uh, less than a half a million bucks. Yeah. Half a percent. Yeah, over half a percent. percent. Yeah. Okay. Right. So general fund revenues stayed about the same. Page six, we can skip right over. And uh, we're, uh, no doubt you're following along in your official copy. <laughs> <laughs> so I should skip right over to page so six. By the way, these are slides sure. that were given to the, uh, presented to the Common Council at the uh, budget, first, uh, first of the budget hearings uh, by Jim Palinick, who is the city administrator. And um, hopefully no one's going to get charged with um, uh, Filling on governing secrets. <laughs> yeah, governing <laughs> secrets with these. The, the last slide. These are not sealed documents. The, the last, <laughs> yeah, the last slide, PowerPoint presentation was sealed by a judge. So I'm, I'm hoping this one isn't. <laughs> Did you hear about the kid that was afraid to eat his animal crackers because the seal was broken? Oh, oh no, I missed yeah, that okay. one. All right. All right. Uh, general fund expenditures. Huh? Okay, uh, we ran into some interesting things on this page. Um, in 2005, we, we, we went back and did a little bit of history because we wanted to check some of these figures here. In particular, this conclusion, in real terms, adjusted for inflation, general fund expenditures have gone down by 28%. Now, that's a real interesting... Remember, this is the total amount that the government spent, $82 million. And Jim Palahniuk is claiming that in, term, in terms of inflation, this is actually a drop of 28 percent from that's 2004. Not, that's right? not what we experienced though when we got out the calculators. 15 years, yeah. Right, so we, we, we could get back to 2005 and I know there wasn't that right. much change between 2004 right. and 2005. Yeah. In 2005 it was $72,832,772. In 2018 well, wait a minute. That that seventy-two thousand in in, two, in two thousand eighteen dollars, it would be ninety-four thousand one hundred forty-one dollars and four hundred eighty-five. Doc is just so 
got a show out the exact number. Doc, let's, let's relax a little bit. It went from 72 million in 2005. That's an easier figure to remember. And when we calculated that for, for uh, inflation, Today's and, you, and you can find that on any inflation ca calculator, ca calculator. Yep. You know, just go to, go to yeah, uh, Google someplace and there's an inflation calculator. That 72 million in 2005 was the equivalent of 94 million Today. In 2018, right, yeah. today, so that's 94 million that was actually spent in 2005, not 72 mm -hmm. in terms. Of, so it's 94, which compared to our 82 million dollars being spent, is still a drop. Exactly. It went from 94 down to 82. You following that? So it so it actually went down from 2018, from 2005. It went down by 12 million dollars, which was 13 percent, right. not, not a 28 percent. I don't drop. know where they came up with 28 percent. And right. the three of us all worked on it, and we came up with 13 percent. So you know. using an inflation calculator yeah. and, and figures off of the the city's website, there's a 13 percent drop. Now that sounds pretty good. It is a good drop. It's still 13 percent drop. However. We dug into a little bit of that too, <laughs> which we'll get on in a future slide. But but, but the point was, it's not 28 percent drop. Uh, Mr. Palinek, uh, you might want to check your figures and you can maybe show us where it's 28 percent. But what we're showing is the $72 million budget in 2005 was the equivalent of $94 million in 2018, a drop of $12 million, and $12 million is of over 94 is 13 percent. Right. So the, that's, and Jim, you, did you get that up on the screen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It's on the screen, yeah. 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 Well, and uh, then we, we went a little bit further. We thought, okay, well, that's that's interesting, but how does that how does that really affect the people who live here? How does that affect the citizens? Uh, well, the population of the city went, well, we went down. To, to, to page 14. Get to 14, that one. 14, yeah, okay. That's the one we're going to get up on here, because now we're going to dig a little bit deeper right. into that drop. Because yeah. you're going to see another very interesting drop. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, though. I, I think the, <clears throat> the, the, the idea here was to say why, you know, we get these great numbers. We're dropping 28%. We've got, uh, we're, we're paying less. The levy's down. Here's the thing. You're not paying any less. It still is your. You, we continually increase and we continually uh, struggle with property taxes. And in, in, in this particular, in the city of Racine, when other communities are paying less, there's a, a little less, a little more relief, I guess. Why is it that we continually pay? And here we're going to explain a well, little and bit. Another thing I'd like to point out too, when th this was this was a a PowerPoint presentation given to the aldermen of the city. Now, any aldermen out there interested in, you know, we've got to cut expending and stuff like that. Right. Well, wait a minute, it already dropped 28%. That's and we're wonderful. showing now here right. that the positions by year, you look at, oh, a number of people are dropping. Well, there's no place, oh, it's dropping. Exactly. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Well, and then a press release. Sit will back hit the and relax, time. Mr. Alderman. Right. And then we'll, we'll and you'll get a press it. release, yeah. and then all of a sudden it'll Just be in the paper. It's dropped. Just go yeah. to sleep. <laughs> Everything is fine. Just nod your yeah. head. Uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Pellinick. Yeah, we understand. So, in the positions by year, oh, another drop. We went from 822 positions in the city in 2004 down to only 731. That represents for 2019. a wow. drop in employment of 11 percent. 11 percent drop in employment. Yeah. Why uh, the heck is it still? We have 11 percent drop in employment. Why does it still 13 feel 13 percent drop in population. And yeah, well, 13 percent drop in expenditures. expenditures. Well, why is it harder? Well, let's take a look at another figure. How many of us are there to split up all of this expense? The same number? More no. or fewer? Yeah, that's the problem. We've had a drop of population. All right. Now, our uh, drop... 18 percent. 18 percent, but that's not the same period of time. We've got a little... So we went right. from, the, from the 70s. Well, we we whatever, took a longer people, period of time. Right. Took, they, th this, this graph goes back to 2004, but if you really want to go into the overall... Um, drop of population i mean and most of the time it's a when you talk about a mortgage you talk about it's a 30-year usual mm -hmm. i mean that's probably yeah. the least you do you don't do a 15-year you do a 30-year 40-year even 50 that helped to the pumping up yeah. well, back when and i got started everything right. was 15 year right 
Yeah, and now, now when they started making the mortgages out to 30 year, guess what? The payments were low. People are buying houses according to what they can afford to pay and the right. mortgage payment. Right. So naturally, the prices of housing went way up. What's happening here is that you're getting, we're paying more for taxes now than we were percentage wise 20 or 30 years ago. Yeah, you, yeah. And, and considerably more. Right. Now, over, over, since our, our peak, we've had an 18% drop in population. Correct. All right. And, and so it's nice to have 11% drop in, in a number of employees and a 13% drop in expenditures. But when the people, number of people leaving is equivalent to that or, or higher than that, now you've got a problem because you've got fewer people bur uh, bearing the, the burden, burden right. of, of the cost. Well, yeah, like it's like if you're splitting up $100 and you got 10 people, great. Well, now you got to split up a cost of ninety dollars, but you only got seven people. Yeah, yeah, and that and that. So the price per person goes up, right? Even and, though and that's what's happening. The here. overall cost goes down. But we haven't. I mean, when we talk about reducing costs, really, our costs have increased while the the burden to the people have have it's gotten greater because of less people. And so when, when, when this, our government plus all the other government taxes there are keep increasing, it gets harder and harder to pay all the taxes, not just the property taxes, but all the taxes all together. And, and this one is just part of it. Now, on the next show, because we'd like to kind of go through this budget a little bit. Can we take a little time with the budget? Because it's an important document that people should really understand. I'd like to get into exactly um, how the how we have moved some of the uh, costs in the yearly budget to long term, more or less like w what are we putting on the credit card and why are we putting those things on the credit card to make this document look good? Because this document is today's document, but the long term document, you know, that's really your credit card. It's going to have to be paid, but how are we going to pay it? And I think that's that. I think that and that's the capital improvement. Uh, the capital yeah. improvement plan. If you, when we start looking at places to really save big bucks, you know, or you, have in, we in, moved in the, in the general expenditures? You can find maybe a typewriter right. here, or a computer there, or something like that, where you know, an employee here or there that you don't need. That's fine. But the big, the big the capital improvements plan covers ten years and four hundred million dollars. Yeah, that's, right. those are the big ticket items. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. That, that's, that's something that's... like that, the city hall remodel, it's, it's like the safety building that is somewhere on the horizon. Mm -hmm. It's all of those big projects. Stuff. Right. And I mean, and I don't know, George, you wanted to kind of bring up a fact of the Kenosha budget and the comparison a little bit. I don't know if you want to talk about well, that Well, th that was more the capital improvements plan, but but the yeah, that was more the capital improvements plan. I, I could I could yeah, I just wait. Just yeah. bring this up real quick. Okay. We brought it up. I just, I just give you one figure on it, just a kind of a little teaser, so to speak. But uh, the Racine Capital Improvements Plan was for ten years, and covered four hundred million dollars in expenditures, and it was thirty-five pages long. All right, four hundred million, ten years, thirty-five pages. Kenosha's was for five years, covered fifty-eight million. Not four hundred million, fifty-eight million was three hundred thirty pages long. Why? Because in the Racine you get one number. This is what we're spending. In Kenosha, you get a, two pages with pictures, <laughs> numbers, yeah. showing the model of the truck or the street what as a picture of the street. Right. And, you know, huge amounts of information so that uh, an alderman there can look at it and say, wow, okay, this is what we're spending it for, this truck or this street with pictures and all that type of stuff, where in, in, in the Racines, all you get is a number. It says some stuff. Uh, and, and not only that, <laughs> but it's it's a number like two or 300,000 in yeah. a budget that covers $400 million, right. and it looks like rinky-dink money, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's well, not. And, and so that, that those, those are some things that, that we want to uh, look at. Okay. The population has decreased. I mean, for a while there, we were, we'd we be losing you know, hundreds of people yeah. every year. But the fact of that, we, we still, every year so far, since since uh, 1995, we've lost population. Right. All right. Or 1975, I'm sorry. 1990, we've lost population. So if we lost population this year, even though the, the money stayed exactly the same, $82 million and $52 million, the point is, per person, it's gone up.
Yeah, and, right. that's, and that's and that's the, the, the that's thing. the that's, burden that's, that's, that's the city receiving uh, taxpayers are under. That's yeah. why it bites a little harder. Yeah, right. And you see these tearing these buildings down. You know, and that's what th those have all been bringing in hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes. Right. It's gone now. Yeah, collectively. It's just a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, the, 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 yeah. the taxes for all you know all those all those buildings, not each building, but all of them combined. Uh, and that's gone now. Now the city is not going to be able to just drop its levy by two or three hundred thousand dollars. Just showed it. It had to stay the same, and that they're right. bragging about it. Look at this. We didn't mm -hmm. increase it. All right. So now you're going to lose two hundred thousand dollars from these buildings that you're tearing, tearing down. How are you going to recover that? Right. So I guess the last thing is the tax impact on hundred thousand dollar homeowner. Yeah. You know, before we get into really the nitty gritty of the budget, but I think that's the last uh, document, the last, um, uh, the last graph, graph anyway. The yeah. last graph I'll put on the screen for this show. Um, and you can just see that the tax uh, has increased. 2012, this graph goes to it uh, 1 million two, or 1,290 per household to 1,875. 1, 1, now it's dropped. By ten dollars, but has it really dropped by ten dollars? You know, when you when well, you have the other impact from, fees from this year to next year, it's projected to drop ten dollars. But yeah. but the <clears> fact <throat> is, I mean, you can just see the increase. The population has gone down, and your taxes have basically gone up. I mean, it's really not. What, now, and like, here's like here's close what, to six hundred bucks. Yeah. A, here's what Palinik say, saying on his watch. This is the first time when he's really been. He's saying at least been held steady, and gone down, and he wants everybody to relax. And that's going to quit, quit complaining about taxes because he's right. it steady or it's gone down. And he's not looking at, you know, we, we started suffering long before that first bar, little short bar. It's been right. a hard time. Right. Yeah. Uh, Jim, we've gone way past the point where if you hold it there, it's, it's like you're, you're, you're being hung by a rope and, you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not getting any worse. The yeah. rope's not getting yeah, any it's tighter. Not stretching yeah, it's, any worse, yeah. it's not getting any tighter, right? That's a good We're past the point of... Yeah. painlessness a uh, long time ago so that's that's why there's still going to be and uh, the aldermen any of the aldermen to uh, catch on to this yes you know there's still there's work to be done we need to we need to get back to the levels where we were growing as right. a city and and I always maintain that quit looking at the last you know this this looks at the last 10 years or the last 20 years that's not good enough we were already suffering we've already we've been losing people and for the last, since 19, yeah, the last 50 years. Right. So there it is, your 2019 operating budget. Uh, we hope that we have uplifted your spirits a little bit this morning, and we appreciate you being here. We've enjoyed the, comp the company that you've provided, and we'll see you in a week. Take care.